Okay, this is a follow-up video I did earlier about the um, Blue Line power cost monitor. That's this one here from Blue Line Innovation. This is the, yeah, I'm sorry, we'll start here with our GEI 210 smart meter. It's a net meter, it runs in both directions. Right now you can see we've, we're generating 1.54 kilowatts into the system. Uh, it actually says received there. That's my total production, or total usage. This is my current production. And it says received when you're overproducing, and it says delivered right underneath that when you're utilizing power from PG&E. Uh, this optical reader reads the pulses off of the light underneath this, and it'll send a signal to your handheld, which is fine, unless you have solar. So this thinks we're using 1.5 kilowatts, and it'll add it to my daily uh, or monthly usage, and it'll estimate me using $74 this month, which is incorrect. Uh, this is great if you don't have solar. If you do, it's uh, not accurate. So I started looking online, and we found TED, which is the uh, energy detective. It's a little more complicated to set up. So we'll go ahead and set this down here so I can show you. So Ted has these AC clamps which you have to put over. This is live so I'm not going to get too close but uh, two AC clamps which you put over your incoming outlet to your main breaker. That then transfers the information to this little uh, measuring transferring unit and it sends the information through these wires onto this breaker which goes to my kitchen. Uh, there's the black wire there which is the data wire. The white wire in the background there is to the neutral and there's a red wire which we just have capped off because it's not in use right now. So this will send information to a gateway I have plugged into my network. It uploads the information over the web. It'll also upload it to uh, a little handheld I have in my kitchen. So uh, this is what we're producing right now. It comes with three MTUs. This is a TED 5000C, I believe. So this one is measuring my usage on PG&E. I've got a second that is measuring my solar production on that breaker there. That's that guy there. Oops, that guy right there. And a third, which is that one there, and these clamps here, which are monitoring my HVAC unit. So just my air conditioner. Uh, it's a dedicated one, it's an extra one, so that's what I had it do. The first and the third will measure power utilized, and the second will measure power generated by the solar panels. Um, so this tells us our recent usage right now. We're generating 1.3. Uh, scroll through it. So we haven't really used anything this month. We've actually overproduced. Uh, we've over monthly projection is negative 449. So I'm going to overproduce this month, which is cool, and I won't have a bill. This is the current voltage on this uh, MTU. Today we're got you know negative 0.56. Uh, this is low and a high kilowatt detail usage. Spending total is going to be zero because we're overproducing this month. It does your CO2 offset, carbon dioxide. And this is cool because it breaks down each MTU. So MTU 1 is the kilowatt hours. MTU 2, which is uh, what I'm producing solar wise. Uh, MTU 3, which is the AC, which isn't on right now. Um, some more information. This has tons of information. It's really cool. Um, it's great if you have solar or wind or any type of production. It's a lot harder to set up. I actually had to get my brother-in-law out here who's an electrician to help me set this up. I couldn't fit these underneath and I know this is going to sound uh, unprofessional but we actually had to chip away at some of the plastic around the terminals and we removed the 
smart meter, which I don't recommend unless, unless you're an electrician. I didn't do it. Um, but he removed the smart meter, so we had no power here. We chipped our way around these to get the uh, AC clamps around to fit properly. The video they use on the TED website was from an older panel, which had plenty of room to uh, work around it. Um, but we didn't have that, so this is what we came up with. It works. It's got a lot of data online, and I'll go ahead and show you that in the SunPower website, which also keeps track of our solar production. Uh, and we'll head over to that in a minute. 